There's a house right next door. This is 6904 Lawn. It is a duplex, right? And that's what we're selling to you for $144.9. Same owner uh, is also having us sell his rental property right next door, 6900 Lawn. One of the reasons we sell properties in the way we do and we're hired so often by sellers is because we're able to sell their properties and we do it in a way that doesn't wreak havoc on their tenants' lives. Because guess what? Once you start making your tenant miserable, your tenant is going to make you, the landlord, miserable. And when your tenant is actively fighting you, it makes selling your property for a reasonable price very, very difficult. It always goes deeper than the box. <laughs> Not the personality. <laughs> yeah, last chance, man. You want to go in the end? <laughs> no, I just don't think I could make it up there. You only lost love in the way. You'll notice that uh, these are higher than a lot of the duplexes that we normally put out here, right? Normally, you're you're looking at like a Section 8 type duplex. It's probably going to cap out around like 875 right now, okay? But this, folks, this is all about the location, okay? This is the Gordon Square Arts District, folks. This is a, a neighborhood, a little niche area in Cleveland uh, that is much more in demand. Welcome to the Investment Properties sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't wise to be giving it to you straight we're going to be getting monster rents in today's show with today's property y'all because we're by gordon square son the gordon square arts district okay 6904 lawn avenue cleveland 44102 right look at that rent roll Look at it, y'all. Market rents, $1,100 a unit, $2,200 a unit. Now, if you're new to the Cleveland market, just so you're aware, not a lot of neighborhoods in Cleveland are going to generate rents this high uh, for duplex units, right? If you're a frequent Holton Wise TV viewer, you'll notice that uh, these are higher than a lot of the duplexes that we normally put out here, right? Normally, you're, you're looking at like a Section 8 type duplex. It's probably going to cap out around like 875 right now, okay? But this, folks, this is all about the location, okay? This is the Gordon Square Arts District, folks. This is a, a neighborhood, a little niche area in Cleveland uh, that is much more in demand uh, than, than your like C or D or even F grade. Well, obviously F, right? Your C, D and F grade uh, type typical Cleveland neighborhoods, okay? This is like a draw, right? A lot of the neighborhoods in Cleveland, people are renting properties because they're affordable and like that's what they can afford, right? It's not usually like a draw. Gordon Square area right over by West 65th over there, folks. That's like something that's just drawing people in there. Like the demand for like, you know, think like yuppies and like hipsters, like that kind of stuff, right? Think like skinny jeans and man buns, okay? Little fancy eateries with craft beers and stuff like that, right? You get a whole bunch of those folks uh, that want to live in areas like this, right? It's it's kind of like a little, little piece of Lakewood, right? Uh, you know, if you guys know anything about the, the general cleveland area right you got lakewood right duplexes in lakewood rent for an obscene amount of money like this right uh but the difference is here in cleveland right if you get like a nice hot hopping area in cleveland like this one you don't have to pay the same tax rate as lakewood which is really high so these uh are going to be just like incredible demand right and you're dealing with a tenant tenant base that is making a lot more money you got a lot more college degrees you got a lot more credit scores that are above 700 right so your vacancy is going to be almost nil and your you know frequent issues uh are, are going to be a lot less right now the particular seller who's selling these i don't know uh who they had in their now vacant upstairs unit but it is a little rough for wear right you're definitely going to need to drop like probably 20 maybe twenty five thousand uh, dollars into that unit to get it up to snuff right you're gonna have to repaint it patch a little bit of holes uh, i saw a broken window uh you know you probably you know redo make it look good right you're gonna want to freshen this thing up right you might even want to offer like stainless steel appliances right we'll go ahead uh in in the video like 
uh, we'll go ahead and tag some products. Uh, we'll put them below the video, or you can click on the View Products button on the video if you're watching this, if you're watching your Holton Wise TV on YouTube. Uh, we'll give you guys some ideas on the types of products you want to utilize in this space when you renovate this duplex unit, right? Because... Uh, a, a unit like this, guys, it's going to be a little bit different than like how you would renovate a Section 8 duplex in Cleveland, right? And I want to set this up. I want this video to be out there uh, for investors uh, to know exactly what needs to happen, right? If you want my team at Holton Wise, if you want to buy this property and then you want my team to handle the renovation, to do the whole shebang, to do your property management, to do your rental property insurance, we absolutely can and we will. More info on the cost to have my team do all of that uh, will be in the show notes below. You can go ahead and click our fact. You can see how that is. But we are a la carte here. Uh, you do not have to use us as your contractor. You don't have to use this as your property manager. You could do it all on your own. And I want to teach people the types of products and stuff that you'd want to use in a unit like this. So again, I'll link all those and you could actually click those links uh, and, and buy them right here from the video, right? I believe you'll even get a little bit of discount uh, from the, the vendor or the seller who is selling those products to you. And these are the kind of products uh, that I place in my own units, and not every unit's going to be the same, y'all, right? So I have a vast portfolio, right? Holton Wise, we're managing something like close to $100 million uh, is in our management portfolio, folks. And not every single property is going to need to be renovated the same. So uh, what you're going to see here is going to work for an area like this, right? For a Gordon Square, for like a higher end tenant base, right? These are not necessarily the types of renovations and products you're going to want to put in your Section 8 units, right? So like if you have units like in the old Brooklyn neighborhood of Cleveland, for instance, you're going to be using a lower quality finish. You don't need your unit to look as nice, right? Because you're not going to attract an $1,100 a month tenant. An $1,100 a month tenant is going to require a different type of product uh, than like an 875 Section 8 tenant is going to require, right? And they're also going to typically treat your unit a little bit differently, right? So you don't want to over improve like an old Brooklyn type duplex, that's for sure, because you're just going to be spending money and you're not going to get a return on that investment. And you definitely don't want to under improve uh, a place like this where you're in one of the hottest neighborhoods that Cleveland has to offer, right? And a little bonus for you guys too, just so you know, there's a house right next door. This is 6904 four lawn it is a duplex right and that's what we're selling to you for 144.9 same owner uh is also having us sell his rental property right next door 6900 lawn right so after you're done watching this video if you want, you can go ahead and punch that into your search bar, or I'll even link that video to this uh, video. I'll put, you know, I'll put the link to it or whatever in the description below, and you guys could actually buy that property as well. You can buy one or both. You're not going to get a discount if you buy both. I'll let you know that right up front because both of these are going to be incredibly uh, high demand. So there's no reason for us to offer you a discount for buying them both because either way, we're selling them both for this guy. But for you as a long-term investor, it's probably pretty nice and pretty convenient for you going forward to have both of your rental properties right next to each other. So with all that said, folks, if you'd like to move forward, get into one of the hottest neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, uh, you just want to go ahead and send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Uh, if you want to make a cash offer, that's preferred, uh, but not required, right? Financed offers will work. Yes, you need to do some renovation to the vacant unit. You got to go in there, fix that thing all up, and you also got to get the property lead certified. So you do you have, I don't know, probably in the ballpark of at least 20000 probably a little bit more than that when you factor in the lead certs and all that stuff, probably in like twenty to 30 even more range. Uh, but it's still totally habitable as it sits, so you should not have an issue financing this particular asset. So uh, cash offers are great, but finance offers will be just fine. Send all the offers to my team, sales at com. Just be like, yo, 6904 lawn. I want to pay 145 cash or I want to pay 145 financed. Here's my proof of funds or my pre-approval letter. Don't forget to check out the video 
for the single family next door. And if you're not comfortable making that offer before you actually physically tour that vacant unit, y'all, and put together your own like line by line bid, either yourself or with like a your own contractor to know exactly how much you're going to need to spend to get it lead cert, to get it uh, rent ready. In my opinion, you should do higher end finishes for this market. Uh, that's totally cool too, man. We're all about transparency. So just shoot us an email and let me know you want to get inside the vacant unit. We'll get you in there. We're not going to get you in the uh, occupied unit though, right? Uh, we're not doing that. Uh, at some point during the closure of the transaction, you'll get in there because you can make your offer contingent on an inspection. Once we know you have enough skin in the game where you're actually paying a home inspector, then and only then will we disturb the tenant. But folks, I've sold over $200 million worth of this kind of stuff. I know how many tire kickers are out there. And I know some of you at home are like, oh, I'm not a tire kicker. I'm serious. Why isn't he going to let me go in and see the tenant's unit? I'm serious. Like, that's great that you feel you're serious, but you haven't sold $200 million worth of this stuff. I have. The majority of people are not serious, and we are not going to uh, do that to that tenant. That's just not how this shit flies, y'all. So that's great that you feel that way, uh, but... We're going to have to run this in an efficient and effective way, and that's why people hire Holton Wise to sell uh, their investment properties. That's how I got to be the number one seller of investment properties in this market because I know my shit. And one of the reasons we sell properties in the way we do and we're hired so often by sellers is because we're able to sell their properties and we do it in a way that doesn't wreak havoc on their tenants' lives. Because guess what? Once you start making your tenant miserable – your tenant is going to make you the landlord miserable, and when your tenant is actively fighting you, it makes selling your property for a reasonable price very, very difficult. So that's how we're going to do it, y'all. You can get in the vacant unit whenever you want. Then after that, you're going to make an offer. It could be contingent on an inspection of that occupied unit. Then and only then, when you and the seller come to an agreement on a price on contract terms, will we allow you uh, to disturb that tenant, right? We're only going to let you in that unit two times. One time for that inspection, which is after we're under contract, and then the second time will be uh, at the appraisal if you choose to do a financed offer. Because, again, despite the fact that it does need some rehab, it's still totally habitable, so we will not have an issue getting a financed offer to the closing table. If you need help with lenders, I got those two. Send everything. Sales at HoldenWise.com. Cash offers, proof of funds, financed offers, pre-approval letters, requests for a tour, and requests for me to get you lenders. All that. Just send it to my team, sales at HoldenWise.com. Let's go. Okay. My guy's going to take me downstairs. Hang on. Say Real quick. This is another attic of our best screw shot. Look at those bad boys. Making a long time. Can't go. It doesn't make it to the basement. A lot of stuff in the way. Oh fuck it. You can peek your camera. I will once you're. That was short lived. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah. Well, you know, at first you're thinking like, oh, it's just a box. Just a box. It's not just a box. It's much more than a box. It's what's in the box, you know. Sign up this big stuff. It always goes deeper than the box. <laughs> Not their personality. <laughs> Yeah, last chance, man. You want to go in the <laughs> No, I just don't think I can make it up there. You're leaving a lot of stuff in the way. <sighs> well. Let's go see if Derek had a duck here. What did he try to do? Oh, is he trying to get any other one still? This thing. I know he was going to do the lockbox. I mean, he put a lockbox on here. Oh, 
Oh! Is it just a handle oh. lock over there, or is it a... The handle has something broken inside. I feel like we can get in there. Uh, I think you can put a shoulder to it. That it's up one? to you if you want to try. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. The key just doesn't fit in the fucking keyhole. Because somebody broke something in the cylinder? That's kind of what it seems like. It also just looks like maybe someone put something in there to try and jimmy and then fuck it up. But the key is blocked. And it's only the one key, and that one's boarded shut. <clears throat> and it's... Like the deadbolt is... Keys work on the deadbolt, but not the, not the doorknob lock. Yeah, we make so, no progress in the basement. The downtowns have a bunch of stuff in the stairwell. I kind of figured. If you're gonna drill a sign in, I'd say do it up there if you can. Uh, but, uh, right, climb out that window. I was gonna do it right there. Yeah, yeah that works. Do one right on the front. That, that way, uh, when the new PM takes that over. That door was blocked. I think. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, I can I climb out the living room right uh, window, but... <laughs> Plus, this is that special kind of siding that... Yeah. So you saw that light turn on? I'm pretty sure I did. I could watch the footage back, but at this point we're 15 minutes in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.